Good evening. Okay. How, how are you? We are great. We're very excited to have you guys be a part of this today. Okay. Um, I, I don't have the personality of Nancy Steen, so let me just get right to the point. Um, I wrote in all the questions in the destroyer. Um, I've been doing this for about 35 years. When I, I started, when I was in school, um, Romano Scientific in New York, and I've taught the MCAT class, the DAT class, and the OAT class for an enormous amount of time. Um, first of all, we have a study group, which I'm hoping you all join tonight. Um, it's on Facebook. You would just type in that destroyer study group. Um, in, that, in that group, I have a whole bunch of things. Um, what, I, what I like to do in that study group is to go over some types of questions that you will see landing on the DAT exam. And you can see other students and interact with other students as well. Um, the thing that I think is the most important as far as the DAT or the old or MCAT or any of these exams is you, you have to build your foundation. That's the bottom line. Um, because a lot of people would say, well, the destroyer is really hard. I think it is hard. I think it's a hard book, but you need to know the foundation and the basics. If you give me a problem in Chinese, I don't know Chinese. Everything is going to be hard. But if you can teach me the basics, um, then I can be able to handle it. Let's face it. These teachers suck. You know it. And I know it. It's a gross waste of time. So usually what I like to do in my class um, in my DAC classes, like I do with the online class, the Zoom classes, is you have to build the foundation. There's no way you're going to be able to do a Michael reaction if you don't know the basics of a Michael reaction. If you don't know what to look for, you don't even know if it's a hard Michael reaction. Or if I said this is a Suzuki reaction, or this is the Nernst equation, and all this stuff landed on the DAT. It's not like I'm just pulling this out of thin air. Um, so the bottom line is, if you go to our website, that's orgoman.com, the website, you will see a whole bunch of books that you might be able to use to build your foundation. Um, we have the Gen Chem Destroyer, if you didn't have a good foundation in Gen Chem. Without a good foundation in Gen Chem, I think Orgo is really hard. So um, before you do anything, make sure you build up the Gen Chem first. Because how are you going to learn acid base and stuff like that, or resonance and stuff like that, if you don't know basic Lewis acid or Brunsted Lowry type things? So you want to know your basic things. So I think the Gen Chem Destroyer will probably be your best bet. If you're pretty good in Gen Chem, you might say, well, let me go to the Odyssey book. The Odyssey book, again, I've used in my class over the years. It's, it's a whole bunch of questions, but as you're going through the questions, it goes over different concepts. But, but like I said, um, none of those books, though, if you have nothing, if you have no knowledge of all, then I think it's a waste of money. I mean, th those books are written with the idea that you, you have some basic understanding in the material. OK, mm -hmm. so you have to understand that without a basic understanding of the material, any prep course, including our prep course, is a waste of time and money. Um, it's like you can't just take the Destroyer book or the Odyssey book and pick it up and learn organic. You had to have been taught that, right? That's what college is for and the classes is for. So that's what I think the biggest mistake is that kids make, is they don't know the foundation. Um, if you go on our website, I have a whole bunch of videos and YouTube videos. Um, if you can't find them, you can always hit Nancy up um, mm -hmm. or you can hit me up on the actual Facebook page and ask where you can find them. Um, but even so, even though videos, they're still made with the idea that you have the basic understanding, all right? I mean, if I do a green yard and you don't really understand what a green yard even is, then the problem is useless. So you need to understand the basics. Um, I have a video that goes through all the materials that I suggest. For example, for the bio, um, I have bio notes that I think the bio notes are written really easy to understand language. And we have that free and you, you can look that up on our website. Um, where else are they? The website and the study group, right? Yeah, you can, you can get the bio notes. So if you really wanted to get on something, get on those study notes. I also think that the um, Barron's book, I think Barron's is very good. What's the other one I like? Barron's I like and Cliff's. So I think they're the, probably the three best sources. 
But basically what I do in my notes is I distilled it all for you and knocked out all the bullshit and showed you where you know the hit for the dot. Like, for example, um, as an example, I'm not going to ask you all the steps of glycolysis, okay? But if I say to you, like they did on the 2018 exam, if you went from glucose 6-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate, what enzyme would you use? Well, I'm not really asking you to, to know the step. That's actually the second and the third step of the glycolytic pathway. But I want you to understand the concept. If you go from a glucose and a fructose, well, let's think about it for a minute. Glucose, we all know is C6H12O6. How about fructose? Believe it or not, that's also C6H12O6. So glucose and fructose are isomers, right? So therefore, you got to make the reach and say, well, if I went from a glucose to a fructose, the enzyme will be an isomerase. You, you follow what I'm saying? So whenever you change the structure around, the, the, it will be, and it's not a hard problem once someone explains it to you. But if I just shot that problem out of a cannon and you said, well, what is it? You, you know, you're like, what the hell is this? Or I'll give you another example. 2016 exam, they wanted to know like the first thing in glycolysis. Well, the first step is when glucose goes to glucose 6-phosphate, okay? Um, meaning we're adding an ATP. Now, I'm not even asking you to memorize that first step, but I want you to understand if you ever adding an ATP onto something, or you're using ATP to add on a phosphoryl group, you use what's called a kinase, okay? So therefore, therefore, so think of ATP as money, right? If you spend money, what do you need? Well, you need funds, right? You either need it in your pocket or the bank or your credit card. So the ATP is the same as money. So if I'm spending money, I need grandpa kindness. So you can almost think of it as a grandpa, right? Who's giving you the money. So you got to make sure you know that connection. So that just gives you an understanding. And I have that in my notes where I explain that. So you don't really want to focus on memorization, especially in that bio. You want to try to, especially the biochem. You want to have an understanding, right? It's like if you ask Dr. Layler about dentistry, do you, are you memorizing how to do a class two prep? Um, you're not memorizing, you got to have an understanding, right? Mm -hmm. You know, um, and when you go to dental school and you're doing all those preps, class one, class two, they show you the ideal, but what's going to happen in real life if it's not ideal? Well, you still got to have an understanding, right? You need to understand, you know, there's something called retention form and stuff like that. So you still got to understand the concepts. So in the direction where you guys are going, the concepts are the most important. Um, as far as that organic goes, um, hopefully you had a teacher who was decent, it, or you have a textbook. You need a textbook. The favorite book I have is the um, is the um, Klein book. Klein book is the favorite. It's the easiest book. Um, there's no book that you can say that I haven't read. I've read every book in England and Great Britain and India, United States, whether it's um, Klein or whether it's Solomon or Bruce or Wade or Jones or McMurray, they're all good books. So um, if you had a book, I would save you money if you didn't have the Klein book and you're using your book to look something up. I, I think that would suffice. I think that's fine. Um, as far as the GCAM, again, you should have your college book. Um, books, again, are McMurray. Um, Brown and LeMay is good. My favorite happens to be from a friend of mine, Raymond Chang. So there's a lot of good books, but you have to build that concepts up. Um, when I do those videos and when I do the Destroyer, I'm not going to teach you the, the, the symbols. I'm going to want you to understand that if I say Na, you know, that's sodium and K is potassium. Right. And I know what you're thinking, you know, that sucks. It does. It does suck that S is for sulfur and O is for oxygen and N is for nitrogen. And then all of a sudden we turn around and say, oh, W, W is for tungsten. A lot of those symbols, not a lot, a handful, right? A hand, handful like tin, SN or lead, PB come from the, the Latin and the Greek. So you got to know a few of them. All right. So again, I kind of review the ones you need to know. If you're not sure the ones you need to know, um, I think a good yardstick would be if you never heard of it. Don't worry about it. But if you heard the element mentioned, 
I think it's fair game. So if you use that as a yardstick. But anyway, before I let you go, the point I want to make is for you to make sure when you have the tools, you, you got to have the concepts fairly understood because then the book is no good, right? Yeah. It's like if you get a quantum mechanic book, it's useless if you don't know um, advanced calculus. It honestly is. Or even physical chemistry, if you can't do calculus, the physical chemistry book is no good and it's no fun. So if you have those concepts built, um, then I think the books will be a great you know, help for you. And like I said, the way you can get those concepts built is especially YouTube, um, Khan Academy. I don't know if you ever saw the Khan Academy, free. I don't know about you guys, but I love free. Um, um, the Khan Academy is free and I think it's decent stuff. Um, decent stuff, if you're not sure on DNA, um, that and there's something called amoeba sisters. I don't know if any of you ever saw those, the little videos on YouTube. A M O E B A, they're like little cartoons. Those cartoons are wicked. Um, we actually have a few of them in our library where you can go to it and you can find some, but you don't need me to do that. You can look that up called the Amoeba Yeah, system. we'll be sure to uh, share the website and make sure that all our mentees can get on there and look at all the, the, the yeah, videos. That's going to be so I mean, helpful. I, I, absolutely. But I really think of all of it, I think you'll like Amoeba Sisters the best. Because okay. they're cartoons, but you might say, well, cartoon songs, fun. these are deadly serious though. Yeah. They're cartoons, but they're fun. They're fine. They're that fun. makes them memorable. If you want to go over mitosis and meiosis and Down syndrome or any of the pathologies and stuff like that. So you got a whole bunch of avenues where to focus on, and you got a few roots. So things, so the books like Cliffs, Barons gave you, um, YouTube, a whole bunch of free resources as well. Oh. All right, but but I would love for you to join my group, look around. You'll absolutely love I'll it. I'll let you know who won the book. <laughs> okay, I'll just say goodbye. He comes in and out. So. In and out. It's like a tornado. <laughs> but, well, thank you again. It's thank you for your time this evening. And thank you. Thank Absolutely. you for letting us come there. But please do, uh, you can message me. I'm sure you'll find the study group or the, um, but if you go on Instagram under my bio and click that, it has if the students want to find that because the study group is what I do like about our study group mm -hmm. to others. That is for study. We don't let, let a lot of extra chit chat go in between. So it's okay. real serious problems and good learning. So the study group you have, how when are the study groups? It's the dad it's the dad and oat destroyer study group, but Dr. Romano posts questions every day. He writes them. Oh, so every it's daily. Day. I was just wondering if it was a certain day of the week, but it's daily. No, he writes them daily. He just posted mm -hmm. the answers from what he posts. Usually like tonight, he'll post them to give students enough time and then they put what okay. their answer is well, and then he comes in with an explanation. Like well, and my math instructor also posts math up there every day. And okay. they're good, valuable problems. They're not time waster problems. They're all stuff that could land on sure. the dad. And there's some com camaraderie you're with other students. Mm -hmm. as well. well, yeah, that's, I think that's the, the secret ingredient is having that accountability in working with someone. So thank you. Thank you so much. We'll let yeah. you know who won and we'll definitely get there in the study group as well. That's, that's a great resource yeah. for our mentees.